Hadrion. So as you may all be aware, the Cyanogen Mon Type 0.1 Beta 2 has been released for the Samsung Galaxy Y and uh, this has the new drivers included. It has full hardware decoding fixed, it has the media scanner fixed, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and so on are working just fine, even smooth animations. Uh, for now, one of the things which are not working are the 3G and mobile data. For example, uh, the, it has no audio, USB mass storage and some others. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install this if you want to test it because this release is basically for testing purposes for those of you who are impatient and want to give this ROM a try. So uh, the steps are quite unusual actually this time compared to the normal flashing steps because this time first you need to flash the EXT4 formatter, then you need to flash the specific kernel and then you need to flash the ROM. So let's start off by powering off the Samsung Galaxy Y power it off like this. Be sure to have downloaded the EXT formatter zip file, the kernel zip file and the ROM zip file to your SD card. Once the phone powers off, hold the home button, the power and the volume up at the same time to boot into recovery mode. So you need, so you'd also need to have Coco Motor Recovery in, on your phone. In this case I'm going to be using the CWM5 which is the latest recovery for Samsung Galaxy Y. You can find the download link in the link in the video description. It is named Update Zip, so this is what I'm going to be flashing now. And there we go, as you can see, I'm now on Pokemon Recovery. Now, the next step after this is to flash the EXT4 formatter. So, here into install the from SD card, then choose the from SD card, and now locate the EXT4 formatter zip file. There we go, select it and select yes to confirm. And it is done. Now, head back, you once again need to head into install it from SD card, choose it from SD card and this time choose the kernel zip file. Choose yes once again to confirm. And there we go. Now, after you have done this, you need to head back and now once the kernel is flushed, you need to head into advanced and choose reboot recovery. So this will basically reboot you back into recovery with the new file system EXT4. Your previous file system was RFS. Anyways, now once you're back in recovery mode, you need to head into wipe data, choose yes, then choose wipe cache partition, choose yes once again. Now head into advanced and wipe down cache like this there we go and now head back go into mounts and storage and just make sure that system is mounted because on this kernel it's usually always unmounted so you need to make sure that it is mounted along with the others data and so on okay once you have mounted all of these we now need to head into install zip from sd card choose it from sd card and finally choose the rom zip file choose yes to confirm and there we go, now be patient for the installation to be complete. And now once the installation is complete, press the back button and choose the first option, reboot system now. And that is how you have to do, now just be patient for CyanogenMod Mod 9 to boot on your device. And finally here we are on the home screen. Now what you're currently seeing here is no gingerbread ROM customized as Cyanogen Mod but it's the actual Cyanogen Mod 9 which is based off Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich. So this is the home screen as you can see you get this lovely wallpaper here Broadcom CM and uh, let's take a look at the app drawer. So as you can see the same little pop-ups which you may see on Android ice cream sandwich and above when first installed. So yeah this is what you get here. Let us head into settings real quick and take a look at what we have. There we go, as you can see we have the switches here and everything else. So Wi-Fi is working, it can actually pick up Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth is also working. So we're going to do a quick test on both of these features. For now I'm going to show you that a Wi-Fi connection can be established and, and then I can visit a website. So I have just successfully connected to my network. Now it's time to open up the browser and see if I can visit the website. And as you can see, the Google homepage is loading up. Next, we're going to do a test on Bluetooth. So let me exit this now. I'm going to head back into my settings. And uh, 
I'm going to turn on Bluetooth. So let's get into Bluetooth. There we go. Let's turn it on. So yeah, you can see the icon on the status bar there. So now I'm gonna try and pair this with another device. So I'm gonna head into Bluetooth. And as you can see, this is here. This is the device here. And I'm about to pair. Currently I'm touching, pressing the OK button on my other device. And let's take a look and see. There we go. We are currently paired, as you can see. I can unpair and so on. So yeah, Bluetooth also is working, as you can see. And as for the animations, they definitely seem to be quite smooth, as mentioned on the XDA thread. Anyways, let us head down. And here we have the customization. So yes, you are actually running the CyanogenMod mod launcher called Trebuchet, so you can actually customize this as well from here as you can see. We have teams, you can change some teams, we have system settings, walk screen settings, and some other things as you can see. So let us head into about phone, and uh, let's scroll down, just to show you what we are currently running. And there we go guys, as you can see, Android 4.0.4, .4, which is based off Ice Cream Sandwich. This is the real deal right here. So there is not much else to say about this ROM for now, all we can do is wait for the developers to release beta 3 and after some time hopefully a stable Synergy Mod 9 ROM. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did don't forget to like the video, if you haven't subscribed already please do so for any updates, once again thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you next time, goodbye.